everybody what's going on. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. So we're going to talk about the HD 60S Plus and how to set it up properly. I am just going to show you the capture card, how my cables are routed, because the, the way that it's set up, I'm running a Mac Mini. I'm running it in Boot Camp for Windows, of course. But I also run Mac OS, and from time to time I'll actually capture stuff on Mac OS as well. All right, so let's get to it. We're gonna talk about properly routing. So what you see is a preview here. It is a live preview, but I have it propped up. So hopefully my phone doesn't fall. But if you see, you're gonna see the HDMI cable that's uh, in front of us right here. And to the left, that's gonna be my in. It's connected to my console at this current time, a Nintendo Switch. I actually do swap this cable out for another HDMI cable that goes to my PS5. So all I have to honestly do in this section here is swatch out, uh, swap out my HDMI cable. The USB-C is actually connected to my PC. And you do see another HDMI cable on the right. That is going to be my out. My out is connected to my monitor. The reason why I do use out is because I don't use live preview mode. I don't rely on it. I actually rely directly on my monitor when I'm gaming. Main reason being, I want zero latency. So as I'm gaming, I'm able to see real time what I'm doing. Some people don't experience any latency when they're doing live preview, and some people do. Um, for those that do, I recommend connecting to out and connecting to either a TV or a gaming monitor. For those that um, are saying you don't need out at all, it's uh, possible you can do it without out but you might have lag. And if you do have lag, it's recommended to use out. Um, there are some who are doing dual PC setups. If you're doing a dual PC setup, um, there's a configuration that you're gonna have to change. Um, and usually you don't get to play with those settings unless Elgato tells you to do a specific button and a click on uh, settings. So we're gonna talk about that here in 4K Capture Utility here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and turn this off. So again, um, before I turn off the camera here, the HDMI to the left is the in and the USB-C is connected to the PC. So you wanna make sure that those are set up properly and then you're out connected to your gaming or um, TV monitor. Right. So now that we've got that out of the way, oh, that was so much better than doing that one-handed. I have done this video like four times but I forgot to unmute my mic each time, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, let's get this started here. We're gonna go ahead and pop open 4K Capture Utility. This is a software provided by Elgato. The reason why I use this is mine is compatible with 4K Capture Utility. Um, there is also Game Capture HD. If you're using Game Capture, um, you have a little bit more uh, of a different interface. There's actually quite a few amazing things you can do on it. You can stream on it. You can actually add some overlays on there and you're able to do live commentary. You're able to um, change the name of your videos and, and do all of the metadata with it. You can do some of that in here too, but um, when it comes to, I wanna say certain capture cards as far as like updating your firmware and stuff, Game Capture HD may not be compatible with it. I think it works with the HD60S um, and I think the HD 60 Pro, but most, most of the softwares that they're, they're working on at, at least with Elgato from what I've experienced with the capture cards that I use have always been working with 4k capture utility, which by the way, if you see this game right here, I'm so excited about Axum Verge 2. I haven't played it yet, but I'll be uh, streaming that tomorrow on Twitch. So let's get started. The area that I'm going to show you here is going to be me clicking control and left clicking on uh, preferences. So for under device, we're gonna see my game capture right here, but this is how you would update the firmware. Currently mine is up to date. You don't wanna do this unless Elgato tech support tells you to do so. And they'll usually tell you by running diagnostics. For those who are doing dual PC, you're going to have to come here and change this. So they'll either tell you change it to display, change it to internal, etc. cetera. Um, I think it's display, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, you wanna probably check on the dual PC setup that Elgato has set up prior to making any changes. That way you're able to follow the guide properly. 
I don't do dual PC setup. I have, as I mentioned again, a Mac Mini running boot camp, so there's no way for me to do that. But I do run a two monitor setup. I prefer to monitors mainly because I can see what's on my out to my right. What you see here is actually my gaming monitor. So um, right now I'm capturing PC, so I'm doing a display capture, but on top of that I'm able to show you my capture card. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of here. Now, there are a couple of things here. There is going to be the record button, the pause button, because this is a live preview. Live preview, it may have some latency for some, and it may not for others. For me, luckily, I don't have any latency, but others have experienced it. I want to say the more severe one is about 2.5, but some of them have like zero lag. Now we're going to talk about this. This is a screenshot. So if I wanted to take a screenshot of whatever, I can. If I wanted to unmute, I can. And if I wanted to turn off sound, I could. This is actually going to be live commentary. So one of the cool features about using 4K Capture Utility is flashback recording. I have not set up flashback or uh, instant replay on my um, OBS. So when I am recording gameplay, if I wanted to show like an instant moment or capture an instant moment, I can actually do flashback recording here in 4K Capture Utility. So we're going to actually talk about setting up for those who have Stream Deck, how to use 4K Capture Utility with your Stream Deck. It's very simple. For me, I'm in a creative folder. Only reason is because I want all of my commands for 4K Capture Utility to be in one section. So I've organized mine. You can actually move these around if you want. To do a screenshot, to record, we're just dragging and dropping. That's how you literally set up your Stream Deck. Flashback recording. Live commentary, so if I wanted to mute or unmute, I could do that. That's me pushing the button, you can hear it. And if I wanted to mute the preview, the game, I can. All right, so that's pretty much how you're gonna configure your Stream Deck, so that way you can have those little shortcuts there, so that way you don't have to click on the screen here. All right. Now we're gonna talk about a couple of other things in 4K Capture Utility. Because not only are you learning how to set up your capture card, you want to be able to use the software that comes with it, the software that Elgato provides. Unless you want to get into more depth of changing things around, like adding overlays and stuff, then I would recommend OBS or Streamlabs OBS. The reason why I say OBS is that's like vanilla. You get to start with everything fresh and blank, and you get to learn it. And then once you do, you can basically import it into Streamlabs OBS, and Streamlabs OBS makes everything so easy to use. But um, personally, I prefer using OBS just because I've taken the time to learn it, taken the time to set it up the way that it works for me. So we're going to talk about this area here. This is the info area. You can title it whatever you want, change the name of the game to whatever you want, and create tags. This is basically like fixing the metadata for your game, for your recording. And then when you do that, you can always come here. Oh, yeah, there's my Super Metroid one. And uh, you're able to, you know see the video and stuff. Oh wait, this saved it from my, um, my OBS recording. But it shows you, I ha and you can route it to wherever you want. So in my case, I went to settings, right? I set up my microphone. Oh wait, it's supposed to be wave. I set up my microphone here. And this is where I routed my files to save. So I save everything to an external hard drive. So you could change it if you want and then route it. The format, you can change it to whatever. And yes, it is capable of doing this, although I prefer to keep it here. But if you notice, it's either gonna be 30 or 60 FPS for the HD 60S Plus. All right, now you can change your bit rate if you want to. For me, I don't really need to worry about it. I left a default, so it's 8.8 .8 megabits. And I have a video encoder because I am using my graphics card. So it's doing it automatic for me. If I want to do flashback recording, I can do up to two hours. If I want, I can do up to four hours. Honestly, we'll just leave it at an hour. <laughs> Default was at two hours, y'all. I, I never really play with it um, because I usually just do all my recording in OBS. As uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm recording in OBS. 
But uh, if you notice that update firmware thing disappeared, right? Because as I mentioned, you only do it with control and then you click on uh, settings. But that's only if Elgato tech support has told you you need to update it. You can always come to here to general, check for updates if there's any updates. You can enable stream link if you want or disable it. I enable it. I'm fine with it. And if you want to send your usage data, you can. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, then you don't have to send anything to them. And you just select apply, okay. And you basically set up everything the way that you want to, have it configured when you're doing your recordings. And if you're using Stream Deck, then you have your Stream Deck set up so that way you're able to do whatever you need to. There's a record button, there's a screenshot button. It just told you I took a screenshot. It's gonna show you that I'm doing a recording right now. So if we were doing the recording, oh, I'm so tempted, we'll do it. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> we'll just cancel that for now. Well then, <laughs> but you're gonna see that the recording that I'm doing, which is like what, 20 seconds right now, is going to save to my external hard drive here. But you'll be able to see what the video looks like and everything here in just a moment. Yeah, I'm still in the mines. I have I haven't passed it yet. Right. So, you know, this is this is where I'm at. <gasps> I wasn't supposed to jump off, but whatever. Actually, it was supposed to go left. We'll just blame it on Joy-Con drift, right? <laughs> right. Right. So, that's pretty much going to be the recording. We'll stop the recording here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn this off. And then what we're going to do is go to our library. And it's going to show you the recording that we just did. I didn't label it anything, but this is going to this is where you know that you saved a recording that it's here. Yeah, that's where we decided like, oh, no, we're not doing it. So now it's going to show you where we started, me falling down, yada, yada. Now, if you want to see the recording outside without the borders and everything, you technically can. I have mine saved, so we'll pull up my file right now. And here we go. All right, so this is actually the recording that I'm working on right now, but this is going to be done in the uh, capture card. So for those who don't want to see the border or whatever, you would see it here. Oh wait, what did I do? Leave it to me to do that. Okay, oh wait, that's my screenshot. That's, no, 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 no. PNG. Okay, here we go. I had to look at the file, y'all. What do you mean you can't play this? Well, it's okay. It's an MP4 player, uh, four video. It should ideally play, but that's okay. Hey everybody, I'm back. Okay, so I found the file I was looking for and it was because I didn't label it that I couldn't find it. All right, so it's under my great game because I just didn't label it, but here it is. We're able to see that I canceled that. We're able to see me starting Zelda. And yeah, I'm still in the mines, see? So we saw me fall. We're gonna see me run to the other side. And this is again recording in 60 FPS. So it's working very well. Hope this helps you all. Anyway, that's how you're gonna be able to set up 4K capture utility. That's how you're going to set up your stream deck to work with the 4K capture utility. And that's going to be how you set up your Elgato HD60S Plus capture card. I hope this was informative for those who are struggling trying to figure things out. The other thing I want to mention is if you plugged everything in and you open up your software and you see a black screen, don't panic. Just close out the software and relaunch and ideally it should show up with the correct screen. 
The reason why I say this is because if you're like me, you switch out your HDMI cable for a different console and then you see a black screen and you're like, oh, something's not working. It's working. It's just that you switch to cable so it has to give it a moment to warm up to show you the preview of everything. So just turn off the software or close it out, relaunch it, and it should ideally work. I uh, hope that was helpful. Thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll see you all next video. Oh, and if you did like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful evening, everybody.